What's up guys, it's your boy Derek, back with another video, man. And today, I'm gonna be telling you guys why right now is the best time to get your CDL. My number one reason right now is inflation. That's because all the prices, gas, food, housing, and multiple other things right now have skyrocketed. So what employers are gonna do, they're gonna increase their pay to make their job positions look more uh, worthy for us drivers. So I would say because of the prices that's going crazy right now, uh, companies are gonna offer higher uh, wages so that they can get drivers to get the freight moved. Just here recently at Cyprus, we got a pay raise. Now, uh, on a monthly basis, I think you can see anywhere from an extra five to $800 a month, all depending on how hard you're running, how many loads you're dropping. but that right there is just shows you know that companies need drivers right now so what they're going to do they're going to give us more money they want us to work they need us to work so if you're trying to chase a bag right now the trucking industry is going crazy my second reason would be this driver shortage that we have um they say that we're short eighty thousand drivers across the u.s right now um it's kind of hard to believe because I know thousands of people that's trying to get their CDLs, but it's also a lot of companies that don't want to hire new CDL holders. And I think the main reason beca is because of that is insurance and greed. I don't know why you would turn down somebody that just has a fresh CDL. You can't find nobody else, but yet you want qualified drivers right now. So it's not going to happen. All of the all, all of the qualified drivers right now that have experience, they're going to want you to meet higher expectations. New drivers that are getting into the industry right now, you know, as long I don't say cut yourself short, but what they're offering right now was better than what they was offering six months ago or a year ago. So if you want to make some money right now would be the best time to get in. Another factor that's contributing to this driver shortage is the old heads man the old heads they're getting sick and tired of uh hos with all of these rules uh violations dot pulling them over all the time just trying to find any little thing that they can do to you know pretty much mess up your day of work or just to just cause problems a lot of old heads they're getting tired of that they you know they got enough money to retire or just do something else so that's what they're gonna do so what they're gonna leave their job you know they don't care for the trucking industry anymore they done put their time in they made their money and now it's just time for them to, for them to get out and i feel like it's a lot of the majority of of truck drivers are are older people y'all I, I rarely see people around my age rarely so if you're 21 you just got your fresh cdl is so many doors are open for you right now all you got to do is find somebody to give you that one chance for you to get that one year of experience and if you don't like it there go somewhere else the chances of you being uh with a company that will get you home multiple times throughout the week maybe um home every day you know it's out there it's definitely out there right now my third reason is because there's about to be a housing crash now for us truck drivers we can make some pretty decent money out here on the road if you're still renting or you're living um in in, in apartments and you're looking to get a home pretty soon here i would say in the next year within the next year or two will be the best time for us to buy a house i know prices right now are like completely out the roof uh people that like like me that you know make middle class money we're we're priced out of the market right now because everything is so expensive like houses are, are being priced over like a hundred thousand dollars more than what they were sold for being a year ago and it's all due to greed a lot of um investors bought into the housing market during this pandemic and actually tried to take advantage of us middle class workers but you know what happens y'all we wait it out chill don't panic buy don't lose your mind and oh i need to buy a house and then put yourself into a messed up financial situation that you're going to regret 
uh, because you wish you would have waited just a year or two, maybe even less than that for uh, prices to decrease and for everything to be more financially comfortable. I was about to say stable, but more financially comfortable for your pockets. My fourth reason would be opportunity. And what I really like about the trucking industry is how quickly you can actually level up and gain your experience and do much bigger things than just driving a truck. So if you're real responsible with your money, you can save up, get get experience and save up at the same time and potentially buy a truck within your first year of trucking. You can become an owner operator running your own business making 100% of what the truck make. Now, that's a huge responsibility, but the option is out there. With other companies, they have um, things called lease purchase program. So if you spend two months with the company or three months, they will act actually let you buy the truck that you are driving. And in two years, you will actually own that truck and you can choose to either stay or you can leave. Or you can just stay a company driver and just continue making uh, the money that you make. And, you know, y'all probably do get, you know, bonuses over time. But the different roles that you can take to become successful in the trucking industry is enormous. You don't even have to drive a truck. You could, you know, dabble into uh, dispatching. You can get into the marketing side of things. You can get into recruiting. It's just it's so many things that you can do with the experience you have from truck driving because ain't there's nothing better than getting on the road learning how it how things work out there and then implementing it into uh other fields of the trucking industry if driving is not you know where your heart is but you have to start somewhere and i feel like being a a driver in the trucking industry and if i ever do want to venture out and do other things i know exactly what it's like being on that road so not only will you know i have my experience i'll know i'll know what what to do you know in certain situations that would be best for me best for my company best for my drivers or drivers whatever i can make the uh most educated uh decision on the very first time my reason number five would be what is it that you have to lose you know just sit back and sit back and think ask yourself that like is it worth going back to that warehouse making 13 dollars an hour 14 dollars an hour 15 dollars an hour is it is it worth going to go back to the retail you know working in the clothes store or you know is it worth going back working the walmart target whatever it may be going back to these jobs that don't pay you enough to live the lifestyle that you want to live so it's it's a sacrifice you know yes you will be away from home yes you will be away from your family but it's not permanent if you just invest one year of your life into the trucking industry and do the right things you'll never probably have to work for anybody ever again as long as you make the right decisions and you don't get out here and lose your mind spending money all crazy and just doing the wrong things if you do the right thing it only takes one year one year that you invest in yourself to become better become your own business owner be you know live live, live a different lifestyle that you were living uh previously uh before the trucking industry the opportunity like i said guys is there it's just up to you do you want it bad enough I know going to CBL school is scary. I know leaving home is scary. It's it's everything is scary at first when you jump out into this industry. Trust me, I've been through it all, y'all. I've been through it all. Like I said, you watch my old videos, you'll see my journey. You'll see my journey. You know, I didn't never had to be out two, three weeks, stuff like that, because I picked my company that I wanted to go with carefully. I made sure that I got a guarantee home weekends so the most that i could be out is five days that was the most i was absolutely willing to do uh when i first got into the trucking uh industry and shortly after that after training after training i was home to two or three days out the week most of the time it has been weeks that i was out five all five days but 
is not that common, especially when you learn how to trip plan, you learn how to, uh, you learn how to run, you know, once you, once you know that time is everything. And if you're wasting time out on the road, that's time that you're not going to be able to get back that you could have made it home. Get what I'm saying? So it's all up to you guys. You know, your destiny is in your hands. It's in the palm of your hands. It's just what decisions, what choices are you going to make to dictate your future? And with that being said, guys, it's your boy, Derek. Peace.